Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be charging the EcoFlow Delta Pro with solar, but I'm going to be using a solar tracker. You see the solar panel right here? I haven't finished it. I'm still working on it. No paint, no, it's just rough draft. This is something I built from old scrap metal pole. This is an old wind turbine pole I had. Cut it. You see right here, it's just a old axle from an old trailer. 12 volt actuators to move the X axis and the Y axis. We have another one over here. One thing about this tracker, if you see the panels laying flat, that's for high wind. So it automatically goes down flat when it senses high wind. It has a wind sensor right here. Once this starts turning, if it gets anything over 15, 20 miles per hour, it will fold down. It also folds down at night. If in case a uh, high wind comes later on, it will go to sleep in that position. So right now it's in sleep mode. You see over there, the sun's barely coming up. It's off. I turned it off so it does not track the sun. So um, let's see what we're pulling right now as it sit. As it sit, it's getting right about 66 watts. I have a small heater just to pull some load. So let's turn it on. Let's see what happens. Let's see for uh, wattage increase and by how much. Usually when I use a tracker, I get up to 50% more power. And that's just to show you that this is a 430 watt. Let's get the exact number. 435 watts. Okay. 435 watt panel. I have the uh, 12 volt actuator right here that moves it east to west. And on this side, this one moves it south north. I have my 12 volt battery that controls everything. This is the controller I'm using. It's on a stand so I can move it around. I do have somewhere I'm I'm going to uh, hard mount it, but now it's on a stand so I can move it around on some casters, just so I can show it to you guys. So this uh, wind sensor right here, once it starts turning, I'll show you it in here. You see this voltage it creates, like it shows a F0. Once I spins it, it will create a voltage. That's how you... Uh, find where you want so it starts going down i have it on 0.5 so once it gets to 0.5 that's around 10 miles per hour 15 miles per hour it goes down okay let's turn it on and see what happens oh and the small panels on the front that's to keep my small battery charged okay that's to keep the battery charged right here all right it's real simple let's turn it on let's see if we get an increase in power just as it sits and one more thing, this is the eye that tracks the sun. So basically it has four small sensors all the way around, it tries to balance those sensors, and that's what finds the sun. Okay? Instantly starts trying to find the sun. Let's come back here and just see what it does. So right now it's going to the east. So this, the x-axis is moving. Almost all the way sideways. Now it's starting to push itself up. Now this one's coming up. We're already up to 139, 40, 42, 46. Fifty-one, fifty-three, fifty-five. See it's increasing really fast as it goes up.
Now this is the one pushing up. You can kind of see how I built this. Like I told you guys, it's really rough right now. I have paint. I have everything else to do with this. Let's see how much we're getting now. 223. And the sun just came up. Okay, it just stopped. And this is the position it's in right now. So it's facing almost all the way east. And it has the panel. Maximum sun exposure. Getting right around 226. I'm going to use an air gun. Because there's no wind right now. So let's say uh, the wind picked up. It sends that. The wind picked up. It'll start going down. starts folding down. It's not fast. I could have got faster actuators, but what happens is the faster the actuator, the harder it is to track the sun. As the sun moves really slow, you have to get slow act actuators. And this one tracks perfectly. So in case of high wind, it would fold down flat like this. There you go. So the wind would be able to go over the solar panel without damaging anything and has a countdown it's set for uh, 600 seconds and after that it will recheck if the wind is still blowing hard it will stay down if it's not it comes back up time just passed no wind so it's coming back up and the power is coming back up as well Just a quick demonstration, guys, of my um, projects. I'm always welding something, building something, coming up with some kind of project. This is my hobby. That's what I do. And this is my latest build. Oh, one more thing. Let me demo the uh, night mode. So let me cover the eye. There's a small, just a small bag. I can cover the eye and it will go into night mode. All right, I covered that, and you see it's going to go into countdown. It waits uh, 3,000 seconds. So since we cover the eye, it thinks it's nighttime. It'll start going down flat. All right, so this is how it would sit at nighttime. If in case a high wind comes through the night, you have nothing to worry about. It's flat, the wind would go right through it, and it wouldn't matter.
Okay, guys, thanks for watching my videos. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day. Bye.